What is up, Freedom? My name is Zesty Mike, and today we're embarking on our brand new Wednesday show. So it's no doubt that managing multiple social media sites can be tough. So today, Adam from Epos Vox is here to actually teach you guys a method that will help you manage multiple pages at once. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Adam, or Epos Vox, and you may very well know me on Freedom as the manager of the Geek Channel, that is me, but... What some of y'all may not know is I actually run a gaming and tech channel, among other channels, of my own with my fiance Chu, which has about 12,000 to 13,000 subscribers. And so I'm here today on Zesty Mike's Wednesday show to share some of my tips with you guys, and hopefully throughout my various Freedom videos I'll keep sharing tips for growth and success with you all on the Freedom channel. Today I'm going to talk about managing your social networks. It is not a secret to anyone that having a strong social network presence is pretty much key to the success of any online business or entrepreneur. Now if you're asking yourself, well why does that matter to me? Well if you're looking for success tips for making your YouTube channel grow or be more successful or reach more people, you're thinking about it like a business and you're going to be growing it similarly to how a business would be growing their online business and online marketplace. I have three Twitter profiles, two Facebook fan pages, about four Google Plus pages, as well as four Facebook groups, and my personal Facebook page and my LinkedIn account that I all need to manage. They don't really let you do all that. But one app, one program does let you do it. It's called Hootsuite. And Hootsuite is basically like the ultimate dashboard you can get for setting up and managing your all of your social networks basically just allows you to manage everything all at once and you can auto schedule posts to all of your social networks you can get the hootlet app on your chrome extension to tweet from all over the web pretty cool program all right for the purposes of this tutorial part real quick i have made a temporary twitter account you will obviously be logged in on yours however there's some issues with showing my personal hootsuite dashboard so i'm just going to walk you through it so be logged into your twitter and then just go to hootsuite.com slash dashboard or just hootsuite.com and then it gives you some options of what you can sign in with. You can pick whichever one you want or create your own separate account. However, I'm going to sign in with Twitter. I'm going to authorize the app to use my Twitter profile as sign in as well as adding it to the website. And then you can add your other social networks such as other Twitter accounts, Facebook pages, LinkedIn, Google+, Foursquare, etc. I only have this one Twitter profile set up at the moment, so I'm just going to hit continue. You can try the pro version for 30 days. I'm actually paying for the pro version at the moment because I have so many accounts I need to manage. For, for me, for most users, you only really need the, the free version. You don't even need the trial. Hit continue and we can start using Hootsuite. I'm just going to kind of skip to her here and show you the basics of what you need to know. So at the top here, it has your tabs. Your tabs are like file folders in a filing cabinet. You can either make specific tags for all your separate social networks. For example, on mine, I have one for Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Geeks, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, etc. Or you can do any combination you like. In the tabs, you have streams. Streams are these vertical columns which contain a specific stream of information. So as an example, I have added three streams here. This one is my home feed. This is just your regular feed of information you see whenever you are using Twitter. These are my mentions. Obviously, since I just made the count, I don't have any mentions, but these are where, where your mentions are going to auto-fill. Now, up at the top here, below the tabs, you can see that it automatically refreshes. By default, it's set to every five minutes. You can set it to whatever you like, or just simply click the refresh button to refresh it. Next, I have a direct messages stream. For Facebook, you have similar things. You have incoming posts, outgoing posts, likes, comments, things like that. And then you have all of these streams as well. Obviously, the home feed mentions and um, direct messages, and then like I set up my tweet to retreat it on my main account too. Those are the important ones. Those are what you will need for your Twitter accounts and things like that. If you want to add a stream later or add a social network, you can use these buttons up here at the top. You can either pop the stream menu back up and it'll pop you a different user interface a bit, but then you can choose which social network you're using and what type of stream you want to add. I highly recommend you checking out Hootsuite's available videos on, you know, which different streams you can choose from. I'm not going to get into it too much. You can also add your various social networks and reconnect it with other profiles. 
Final step is to broadcast your message. You have a couple different options up here at the top. If you have multiple social networks that you have added, you can choose up to five social networks at a time by just simply clicking on their name like so to broadcast a message at the same time. Then simply type your message. Hello! I am broadcasting this message via Hootsuite. If you want to insert a link, insert it in here and it's going to shrink it down to an alley link and make it a lot smaller for you. You can attach images, you can attach files, you can tell it to auto schedule. Like I said before, it'll automatically just schedule it to the best possible time. You can geotag it, you can do lots of simple things, but mainly choose your social networks, type your message and hit send. So that was managing your social networks and via, especially Hootsuite, in a nutshell. I do hope you enjoyed, guys. I try to make it as quick as possible while still jamming as much information as I can in there. If you would like to hear more videos like this from me, let me know in the comment section below. And otherwise, I do appreciate your support, and I'm going to let Zesty Mike take it away. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. So be sure to go over to Adam's channel and show him some love. He's an awesome guy and deserves a lot of e-hugs. And of course, guys, if you have a tip you want to share with the Freedom Family, go to that form in the description, fill that out, and it's going to send right over to me and I'll review it. And if I like it, I will send you an email and we could potentially work together in a future Wednesday episode. And lastly, we love seeing you guys on our personal channels. So be sure to come over and hang out with us. We post up videos quite regularly. So a lot of opportunity to come hang out with us. So anyways guys, have a lovely day and we will see you on Friday.